Hey, 10 7 kom here, and I am up on Cornell Mount, the Portland Metro Area Summit, uh, Whiskey 7 Oscar, Whiskey Victor 090, and we have a lot of RF up there. Look at these towers. This is actually the first mountain I tried to activate, and I had with me, because I was a little baby, a little Balfang. Now, other people in town could hear me, but I could not hear them, so today we're going to try to activate. Got my Yezu FT60R and we got the Baofeng. So we'll do a little test here. Compare the uh, RF uh, receive capabilities of, uh, of these radios when you're next to a difficult spot. I don't even know if this is gonna work. We'll give it a try. On the air calling any station CQCQ N7 KOM. N7 KOM N7 LKL N7 LKL downtown K7 ATN. K7 ATN, got you at a 5.9 from up here. Yeah, 5.9, what antenna are you using? Uh, just the rubber duck on the FT60R. All right, that didn't work as well for me for when I was up there last, but uh, cool. One more for you here, thanks Jim, K7 ATN. Okay, I'm gonna go to November 7th, Lima, Foxtrot, N7LF, you're 5 and 5.55. K7 IMA. At our 7Y. And our 7Y, you're a surprising 5.9 up here. We are shocked all around. K7 ATN, are you still there? Uh, I'm on the uh, low power. I'm going to have to look up and see what this radio is on low power. Uh, but you want to compare it to the bell plug? You probably can't use the same antenna, can you? K7 ATN. No, I can't use the same antenna, but I have a, a rubber duck on the bow thing. And uh, honestly, I haven't been hearing anything on the bow thing, so it'll be a quick test here. Um, stand by, and I will do a transmission from the bow thing. All right, we got all our contacts on the FT60R K7ATN. Standing by, let's see here. K7ATN, K7ATN, this is November 7, Kilo Oscar Mike on the uh, bow thing UV5R. Please call now. All right. All right, that was nothing heard. I did hear it coming through this. He's gonna go to a higher power. And nothing heard on the Baofeng. Nothing heard on the Baofeng K7ATN. Thank you. All right, K7ATN, back on the FT60R. I turned the volume down, but I could hear you coming it, coming through it. And yeah, nothing on the bow thing there. I guess it's just uh, that front end RF filtering is, uh, is garbage, as we know. But fun little test to do up here and really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, there was someone up, I think, on Ball Peak a couple of weeks ago, and uh, nope, they couldn't hear anybody calling them. Uh, that's, that's a sad thing. Maybe it's okay for repeaters, but not for any meaningful weak signal work like we do. Anyway, uh, good test. Uh, thanks a bunch, k 7 ATN. All right, that was a fun little test there. Stock antenna on the Baofeng, stock antenna on the FT60R. And this radio was recommended to me when I was just getting started with Summits on the Air. Because, you know, being a little baby ham, I uh, got one of these or whatever, 20, 30 bucks on Amazon and thought it was nice and shiny and cool. And then I discovered Summits on the Air and uh, it just wasn't gonna cut it because so many of our Summits have these uh, radio towers and TV towers and the uh, out-of-band rejection on the Baofeng is just not up to what, it, what is needed for this uh, weak signal work. For summits on the air a zero star review for a baofeng for summits on the air but also five star review for the ft60r i love this radio it's a great analog rig check it out if you're looking to get into summits on the air all right seven three and seven kom thanks for watching and k7 ahr good afternoon you're a five nine up here very good yes i nine as well from the QSL, QSL. Uh, good to work you up there. And did you know the FT60 has pretty good uh, out-of-band rejection uh, I was on that radio as well. Uh, and they were saying that it would be a good replacement for mine, and I think I might go for it. Yeah, it gets a five-star review from me. It was recommended to me uh, when I was getting started. 
Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it'd be fun to come up here and do like a full side-by-side -side test with a bunch of different rigs. And one other thing that I was just thinking about is, what if you put a really good two-meter filter uh, on a bow thing? Um, I know the receiver isn't perfect or that good, but it, it might actually cut out enough of the other stuff that the signal it actually receives gets amplified to where it can properly be received by, by even its receiver. So that would be an interesting uh, thing to try. Yeah, I imagine it would it would do something for the radio because it really is just that kind of out of band uh, rejection that that it has trouble with. So uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe we could find someone with one of those knocking around and add that to the test. 